Water's still warm. Oh. I brought this for you. I didn't know if you needed it. I didn't include it in the packet, but Another packet. Packet if you want to talk about it. Okay. For you. Kelly, were you able to get the system to work? Because I could not get the work Thursday. Yeah. As far <laughs> as I know, we're working. We're recording right now. Okay. Got one o'clock in here. Stand. Yep. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Should we run a roll call? Sure. Jermaine Sullivan. Here. Jim Thompson. Here. Ron Stoneman. Here. Jeff McCullough. Here. Okay. All right. Looking for uh, approval of the agenda. So moved. I'll second it. Okay. Uh, let's have a vote for it. Will this, I'm sorry, will this include approval of our minutes? Is that a process that we... That's the next one down. Ah. Yep. There it is. Okay. All right. Take a vote on approval of the agenda. All in favor say yes. 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 And those opposed say no. All right, that passes. All right, a new business. I read the agenda. <laughs> approval of the minutes. I have a, a motion. I'll make a motion. Second. I'll second it. Okay, and uh, vote uh, yes. Uh, yes for the minutes. Yes. Yes. Okay. And no. All right. Well, that's passed. <laughs> On to old business. We have a tennis court discussion. And, um, I guess if you want to re reflect back on the minutes real quick, you can see where we, we left that conversation. <clears throat> Since I wasn't here, um, do you mind if I just give a little bit of background on that? Yeah, we were missing that last time. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you're here. So probably for the past 14 years, um, it, it, I have personally been working to try to upgrade those tennis courts at Sands Park um, in my previous capacity as the city's engineer of record and then also since I've been employed by the city. Um, during that time, there's been three different engineering firms that have looked at the tennis courts, um, including Wade Trim, Avon Marsh, and the most recent was Spicer Group. And all of them um, have opinion that the cost to resurface the tennis courts um, is in the, to do the four courts would be in the, these are rough numbers, but forty fifty thousand dollars $50,000 range in that the life span of that repair would be very, very short because of the base conditions. And they had recommended um, full replacement of the courts. Um, the city had made an application probably five years ago to do that um, with the community foundation. And the community foundation had studied, because um, they had multiple requests, the community foundation put together their own subcommittee of uh, internal staff, board members, coaches, um, members of the community who were heavily involved and active in tennis. And they looked at all the facilities in Filer Township, Manistee Township, and the three court, three different um, tennis areas in the city. And what they recommended was that Manistee Township be repurposed for pickleball that Sands, Court, Sands Park um, was too expensive for the benefit and they had recommended that the city um, look at First Street Beach to renovate the courts at First Street Beach, um, which would cost a lot less and provide at least four courts available to the public. And then um, at that time, there was some interest by the school of, in the future, constructing their own facilities. 
So the city proceeded with um, a new grant application. Um, the four courts at First Street were resurfaced and uh, substantial renovations were done to the fencing and lighting. And um, I think improvement has gone, or uh, participation and use down at those courts has gone up dramatically since that happened. Um, that still leaves Sands Park sitting there. Um, it, also understanding that the North Court and the South Court were constructed at different times, so they are in different conditions. Um, but I believe it's the South Court that's in much worse condition with large cracks. Um, and um, under the request of the city manager, the public works staff had gone down and cleaned up a lot of the grass out of those cracks and people have started to use them again, but they're really not in a safe condition. Um, Bill, you can give details, but I, I know that the city managers had experience with other renovation companies and I think you have some interest in having them at least come look at them. And yeah, we had some previous place I worked, we redid some courts and it was just kind of those crack. It was like a tape and epoxy and then a resurface. And it wasn't that expensive and um, I think it might be worth taking a look at. It's especially, and I think it's the south one that's the better court, but maybe we could just take a look at that. Um, yeah, uh, are you time. saying, uh there's two sets of courts there. Mm -hmm. Is one of them potentially usable now or potential salvage? Is there, are you suggesting that? Or? I'd like to look into it just because I think, to, and just because if it's possible, we might as well look at it. If it's not a crazy amount, then at least I think, I guess we'd have to have a cutoff at a certain point. Yeah, I mean, if you invest. 50,000, 80,000, whatever it is, or if it's 20, I mean, maybe that's a manageable amount and it makes sense to last five to 10 years. That makes sense. So I'd like to take a look at that. Was there a, a option of doing something different there if they weren't rehabbed? Like if they- Like a different use? Yeah. I think that potential's there, yeah. Yeah, but nobody had any ideas of uh, I don't think it's been discussed at, well, there was discussed at this level a couple of years ago, repurposing it for other recreation or either, or even we looked at housing. Um, City Manager Taylor was interested in a proposal we look at housing along Robinson, um, but the City Attorney researched uh, in our use the land, I believe, is the, the, the Sands family required a public use on that land. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it would revert back to the family. I, I believe that's a short summary of that's it. That's my understanding. So um, we lose control of the land if we don't keep it for public purposes. So in a couple of years ago, I had also offered, and we were at the point where we were going to just tear it all out and I had offered my staff could probably do that. Um, I know at the last meeting that was discussed a little bit and Kelly had asked me to, um, to look into that. Um, I just don't have the capacity to do that. So I did have a local contractor um, just gave us a ballpark price half hour ago. Um, but, but to remove all the base and fencing and everything that's there, would be about $9,000 to turn it back to um, stone gray. Well, I, and I would like to see the, like the courts saved if possible, just so people can use them. I was just wondering if there was something else. So what, what happens is, I mean, it's, it's no different than a street. When, when the, the court itself is, they're typically concrete or asphalt. Um, I believe these are asphalt and when the pavement gets old enough and they start to crack during the freeze thaw cycles, the cracks get bigger, they don't close back up as much because the oils aren't as flexible. And um, so typically what you do when you re rehab or resurface these is you try to patch those cracks 
and then you repaint a new surface, restripe it. Um, and the engineers have said that the cracks are too great to do that. What Mr. Gamble is saying is that there's a company that has some, probably some new, newer innovative techniques that they may be able to um, kind of do that patching on it that could get some more useful life out of it. Even if that was successful, you're probably still looking at at least 50, 60 grand to, to re, resurface the, the quartz and then um, I think it needs probably needs new new uh, posts and new netting. And the fencing would really be the thing that could stay and wouldn't be touched. Well, with that too, was I think the, the big question there is the time. You know, you spent fifty thousand on it or so, and you get five, ten years out of it. So you can be sitting here again with that same question: What do we do now? We just put fifty thousand into it. Right. A few years ago, and it's. If the base is bad, it's always going to be bad and uh, always cause problems. Right. The, the core of that, is that how you determine if it's suitable base? Is... Um, I believe the company would need to look at the size of the cracks and the nature of them and then to see if they can do a treatment on the cracks itself. But once the eight pavement gets to that age, it's still going to continue to crack in new places and um, and and there's no good funding for this. The community foundation has been very good at supporting. There are DNR grants that are available, um, but there's not a real easy here solution. The local tennis groups looked for years and years through the the professional tennis association and any type of other you know foundations because the community really wants facilities i'm sure the school would appreciate having four court or eight courts to use as opposed to four um, right now the biggest use there is people with electronic cars steering them around and um, kids with skateboards are bringing their own stuff up there and playing on them Well, I guess it would be bad to come up with, see what the new technology, that uh, see if that's an option, but uh, some of that would be the longevity, how long yeah. will that last? And to your point, if it's if it's going to get in a bad state again in a couple of years or five years, maybe it's not worth it. So. Right, because we're going to be having the same discussion. And to um, Mayor Pro Tem Sullivan's point, maybe we have kind of some options. I know we, like an outdoor fitness um, area that's kind of in our master plan, but maybe there's some uses like that we can look at um, and talk to the community foundation too. So maybe we'll do one last check on, you know, is there a way to save them? Is it worth it? And then kind of come back with some, we know the demo costs, which I appreciate Jeff. And then we have some options to, for the future plan there. With the condition it's in now, we don't have any liability associated with that new year. Um, the school actually puts the nets up and stores them, and but I think the nets have been left up for the last couple of years. So if there's there's probably governmental immunity, but if the cracks are really bad, I think at least on the the north quarter, um, those nets should come down, and so we don't have people playing on it. Yeah, because if it's not bad shape, you don't want people playing on it. I mean, on. little the kids out there with their cars, I mean, they'd probably like those little cracks. Cause Different purpose, yeah. Right. <coughs> I mean, we take those. That's, uh, it's the north or the south one. The north one. The one that's that's closer to A Street is isn't as bad. The one to the north of that, I think the cracks are much worse. And they've already been filled. There was um, a tennis community group that we supplied the material. They researched what material to put on there. They filled them, um, and it lasted probably three years. Um, and then it just started popping back out again. Do, do we, uh, aside from the school use or potential use, um, do we feel there's a demand for, for the courts in the community? There seems to be, but I think 
the growing demand is pickleball, mm -hmm. and that is tremendous. I, I can't believe the facilities in Manistee Township, how many people are there all day, every day. It's, it's amazing. Right. So I'm wondering with the lens of maybe bringing someone to look at it, maybe if they have an understanding if it's not tennis, is pickleball, mm -hmm. uh, courts, um, and not tennis, um, uh, are they salvageable or more cost effective? I, I don't know. The, the pickleball courts use a little bit less surface area. The nets are a little bit shorter and they're a little bit lower, but they're just striped differently, but the surface is the same. So the rehab cost I think would be just about identical, but it's just what use are you using? We also trying, trying to sweeten the application for that rehab to the uh, community foundation, put in dual striping and then we were going to put in some mechanisms to adjust the, the height of the net and the pickleball community said and the tennis community said don't try to put two uses on the same thing it gets confusing it doesn't work you need to have dedicated facilities for each well, I mean, yeah, Matt, that's what I'm saying. Maybe this could be a dedicated pickleball uh, that will take some pressure off of other tennis courts that are used for pickleball um, that it would allow. Yeah, it could be. And I don't, I don't see a capacity issue at First Street. I see a lot of usage, but I never see full capacity or people waiting. Um, so we have a, an agreement with the city uh, uh, for the, our tennis team. Do you feel that's displacing, hearing anything negative about I have that? not heard that. You haven't heard anything negative about that? No. Right. I'm sure if you change those pickleball courts, they'd probably be full too. Oh, I would <laughs> think so. The, I wonder if there's a grant, if they would be more susceptible. I don't know. If, uh, for, of them looking at it as a grant opportunity if it was more exclusive pickleball because uh, that seems like a pretty active group i would think they would be interested in, in helping towards fundraising um which could supplement a grant and some local match i because i do see the, the parkdale uh, facility i do see people sitting waiting there I mean, that, that's that is heavy heavy use and if we can complement that so regardless of which way that goes, um, I would make a motion that we explore um, some new rehab techniques and, and make sure we know exactly where we're at and what the life, you know, life cycle cost of, of a rehab would be versus um, reconstru reconstruction and then bring it back to this group for a final recommendation would be interested if one is too expensive to salvage the better one may be would be interested in saving just one set yeah and just to bring the school conversation in i i don't know um you know the building of uh, eight courts on school property for a girls team i mean that's that's quite an expense for uh, low use obviously we would have make that available to our, our greater community but I think that may just be too many courts in, in a community and not really suitable but I can see potentially adding maybe four courts on uh, school property and utilizing first street uh, for for term you know with a lot of high schools have two different locations that are our size or smaller that they utilize uh, so that, that's a possibility too but there's nothing in your like capital plans right now. No, no, and and just look thinking of uh, how hypothetically we looked at our site um, on campus for the middle school, high school, um, fitting eight courts is, would be a challenge. Yeah, especially if they were contingent to each other. But that's a that's a conversation that our uh, building and grounds committee can can look at. Because this is a conversation and looking as a community as a whole, we should probably review that too. Um, so I'm hearing, uh, let's, uh, let's get some, some more information on uh, refurbishing and, and we'll meet again and, and 
review that information and see where we are. Jeff did make a motion. Mm -hmm. Does somebody want to? Yep. I'm waiting second. for a second. Yeah. And a vote. All in favor for uh, that motion? Yes. Aye. Yes. Nay. All right. Moves forward. Any other old business that's not attended to here? Uh, what's the time frame to look at the rehab costs? Like? Um, I can call those. There's two companies, I think. I can give them a call, see when they can come out here. So I think November or December or something like that. Well, I would think it would be before then, but we need to gather some other options too, I think. Could you provide the committee an update as you uh, make contact with those companies? And sure. Then we may be able to uh, work from that information to schedule our next meeting. Okay. <clears throat> um, if I can bring up, there was um, under new business in the August 3rd meeting, you discussed the shipping container and then the, um, uh, the utility shed. If I can give an update to you guys on that, please. So we had um, secured a donated shipping container that we were going to place in the park in order to house all the ice skating rink and equipment. Um, we then got a donation for a um, an actual pre-manufactured um, aluminum building. Um, it's actually the build, and I can show you pictures if you wish, but. It's actually a building that's out at uh, Microtel at US 31 and 55. It's the one right on the corner by the driveway. It's 20 by 20. Um, we uh, met with the donor, um, with um, Councilwoman Sullivan and representatives from the teen center and the city manager. We met on site. We looked at different options and we chose um, to place it in the northwest corner of the parking lot oh, it just moved on me so if you can see adjacent to the tennis courts but right, right in this corner next to the below the hill from the tennis courts south of the skate park and um, everybody was in agreement of that location it is currently not striped for parking there so it would not displace any parking spaces. Um, we have got information from the, the building provider. Um, we've applied for a building permit and we're gonna, pop, we're gonna pour the foundation of that this morning actually. However, we have had a water main break on US 31 so we've delayed that pour until tomorrow afternoon. But it's simply um, a ribbon, kind of a grade beam uh, of concrete that we cut into the asphalt. We're gonna mount the building to that and then build a ramp on the in interior next year just to get that material in and out. And um, it'll provide us some space and reduce cost and having to move all that stuff back and forth. It also provides that material to be accessible to the teen center so that they can begin um, working on the skates and stuff um, in a more timely fashion. So that has like a rolling door and then a uh, side entry door? Correct. They're in the same face, but they have, it has a entry door and then a roll up door also, yes. So that'll store the ring? The ring. And uh, skates? And, and the skates and then the rubber flooring that we put inside the teen center. Everything will just be housed right in that building. Nice. Where does it go now? Um, we jam it into the parks department wherever we've got space. Are the skates uh, at the, in the teen center, though, to know that you take that, too? We take them on racks. Um, but like, like the workers explained, they get dusty. They, it takes some time for them to clean them up. So uh, this will keep them in, enclosed and housed in a, in a nice building. It should keep them cleaner. Um, and it's just easier to get them back and forth. So Sounds good. Have to drive by that building. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> have to drive by that building. It's really a nice building. I, I mean, I'm thinking about putting at my house. <laughs> Is there any uh, action from this committee related to that? Um, I, if I would have been at the last meeting, I would have 
requested your approval of that because it is a improvement in that park. Yeah. Um, it probably would warrant at least, I, I, I thought it warranted at least additional discussion and make sure there were no objections to it. Well, it probably wouldn't hurt to, yeah, have the board decide on that. The, can't come back later that. Uh, Do we have a motion for support for the building? I would make a motion to support putting up the uh, building as described and the location as described. I'll second. Um, any motion to adjust the agenda or are we okay? We okay with that? I, I oh, she just added, it, but yeah, uh, a new business item. Her. Old business. Old business, okay. Want another motion for that, or are we okay? We can probably do it. Well, it's easy to do. I'll make a motion to amend the agenda to include a uh, uh, decision topic on the building for a uh, storage, 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 and storage building. building. There. Okay, I'll so second. we have. Second that motion. All right, I'll approve the amended uh, agenda. Aye, aye, aye. Nays. All right. Uh, now let's go back to the motion on the floor related to the approval of uh, or support of uh, that container. I think we had a motion for uh, first and second, so let's vote uh, yay or nay. Yay? Yes. yes. All right. So that passes also. Thank you. Thank you. Um, anything else? Uh, did we uh, open this tennis courts? Um, any discussion, uh, new business, we talked about uh, sidewalk. I've looked at that closely, um, and the city's been working with the school and their design team on the improvements um, to Kennedy School, and I think that even if the tennis courts remain, that a sidewalk could still be extended down to 8th Street and be adjacent um, to the curb and gutter that's there. I think there's enough room for that. Um, I'm not sure when and how that would be constructed, but I think it, it I think it can be completed. Um, the very worst case scenario is the slope that comes off of Robinson on the east side has a small drainage ditch before you get to the court. And even if a portion of that had to have a pipe installed in it so that you could add fill, I, I think that that sidewalk could be and really should be extended. Um, and, and I'm not suggesting that the school should build that or that the city should build it, but I do think that would that would link all of the, the new traffic, foot traffic patterns to A Street. And um, I suggest that we try to try to find a way to, to fund that and make that improvement happen. Okay. Can we uh, have uh, that sidewalk added to old business as we move forward in, with our agendas, just so that we can continue to discuss it? Sure. Yep. And we can come up with, you know, what we think the cost of that would be. That would be pretty easy. Um, but I do think it's feasible. Yeah, that's good to hear. Well, the timing of that, too, you probably want to, you know, granted you want that sidewalk in there sooner than later but you wouldn't want to um, be put put the sidewalk in and then decide that we're going to tear out the courts and correct. end up messing something up because we tore out the courts when the sidewalk was there so. correct yeah I think I think and and there's nothing imminent about having to get the sidewalk in tomorrow or even the next year but I do think that should be part of our consideration and the timing of it should match up with whatever happens with the courts. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's why having it bundled as a, as an item for discussion will be helpful. Um, anything else for discussion on old business? Uh, come to public comment. Is there any public comment today? <laughs> All right, uh, no public comment. I look for a motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion. Second. All in favor of adjournment? Yes. yes. Aye. Nays? Thank you. Thank you.
Wow. Probably the most productive. Boom. <laughs> <laughs>